Hi everyone, it's been two days since the incident took place at the uh, European hospital. So I'm just literally now, the street behind me takes you into the hospital and now the hospital is completely shut, even at the front with uh, very tight security. As everyone knows, I was, I was at the time, um, I did stay in, uh, and I was, I was actually the last doctor to evacuate from the hospital. So I'm just briefly just going to state uh, what happened. Um, as there have been uh, some conflicting news about this, and myself, I'm an eyewitness. I was there throughout, all the way until the end. We received a voice message, and that was to uh, most of the guards stating uh, that this area is going to become red. They did warn of an operation that is going to take place. Um, and then they clearly stated that the European hospital was not to evacuate, uh, but there, there were no leaflets being dropped, um, and there is no direct contact with the hospital staff asking them formally to evacuate. Evacuation started taking place um, about uh, five o'clock. There was a mass. Uh, evacuation of people from the hospital, patients, medical staff, many of them they slipped on the streets. Um, and then the looting starting probably after 9 or 10, there were scattered gunshots within the hospital premises. Myself and another emergency doctor we did stay in with uh, about five, six nurses. We did receive uh, about midnight mass casualty of 20 patients. It's a minimum amount of equipment and medication we did manage to stabilize them and transfer them to uh, the Al Nasser Hospital. Uh, the transfer was a nightmare to get the coordination done with the UN IDIDF, the which definitely compromised the patient's care. And uh, we managed to just settle things down at about 4 o'clock in the morning. By 7 o'clock, there was uh, trucks coming in to empty the hospital. The patients were left overnight in the corridors. They were left in, the, uh, in front of the emergency department. Uh, unaccompanied by anyone with absolute no medical care or supervision. And then the UN, uh, the UN did visit the hospital um, about probably midday or just before midday, about 11ish or between 11 and 12. And what it appears like at the time, they just came to ensure that the hospital is completely empty. Uh, they did not ask about the medical staff who stayed. They did not ask about any patients being compromised. As everyone has evacuated, including the people who were uh, originally displaced into the European hospital, they all left. So we decided at, as doctors not to stay, as there will be no reason for us. And then the staff, they've been told, the five that remain, they've been told by the UN officials, uh, it's only going to be for a couple of days and they will be coming back and whoever stays will be secured the job. Now as we speak in the hospital is completely out of service. What I've been hearing is that the NGOs, they will come and take over the hospital management as they have done at the uh, 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 Nassau Hospital.